So much to do, so little time to do it. Think about that. Life goes by quickly. Here we are coming up to the end of September 2018. We're in, on my birthday, September 22nd, that's 100 days until the end of the year. So we're just 100 and a few days until the end of 2018. The nice thing about this is you can look at that and proactively set some goals for you to achieve in these upcoming 100 days. What's going to be done? What's going to be accomplished prior to, let's just give a few weeks or, or, or a few days prior to Christmas, for instance. So around December 20th. By December 20th, what's going to be done by then? So here we are, uh, September 18th. So three months and two days, in essence. What's going to be done by December 20th, which gives you uh, rest, recuperation, and fun time with your family for the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, etc., whatever holidays you may uh, 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 look forward to and participate in with your family. But here's the deal. Life goes by quickly. So much to do, so little time to do it. However, myself and many of my high-performing clients sometimes get comfortable, sometimes aren't pushing forward at the level of what we know we're capable of. And here I am coming up on a birthday, September 22nd, and it's a good reminder for me to sit down, kind of like a lot of people do for New Year's, New Year's resolutions, things like that. I sit down prior to my birthday and really examine where am I versus where do I know I want to go? Where do I know is, is mine to do to deliver the value that I know I'm capable of? Because here's the bottom line. Some of you may resonate with this. Some of you uh, will at least hear this. Um, in high school, I wasn't the type who had to study all the time. I could study a little bit and ace the tests. And there's beauty to that, and there's also some lackadaisical habits that can occur. And that, that kind of can creep over into business. I can, if I allow myself to become psychologically lazy, to become someone who doesn't put the proper time and effort in to gain clarity on what it is that I am wanting to accomplish. Because I can go into a race, for instance, not that well prepared and still if not win it, come pretty close to winning it in the top five, in the top ten. So there's a blessing to that and there's a curse to that. Uh, the curse is something that I have transitioned into uh, planning what's to come. Now here I am coming up on 46. I didn't even know if I'd make it this far. I didn't know if I'd make it to 40. But here I am coming up this Saturday. I'll be 46 years old. And it's a reminder, especially bringing this into my office today, this is what was handed to me in December of 2009 when my father passed away at 56 years old. He was almost 57, but at 56 years old, he passed away. A couple years prior, uh, in 2007, my mother passed away at 52 years old. Here I am coming up on 46 years old. Now, I plan on living many, many more decades. However, I recognized after I had my near-death experience, Here's my realization. I won't live a second longer or a second shorter than what I'm supposed to live. In essence, I have an S on my chest. I am Superman, and I am immune to death until it is my time to go. So I plan on living many, many decades beyond where I am currently. However, I also recognize I don't have the power to say I can live till tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. It's all up to how the events unfold, and I know I'm going to use my proper for discernment to stick around as long as possible, making the choices in each moment to, uh, to live up to that longevity. But I know when it's my time, it's my time. So this is a quick reminder for me. What if I only have 10 years left? What if I only have six years left? Six years from 46, uh, 52 is when my mother passed away. And 10 years, 56, is when my father passed away. What if I only have a decade left? What if I only have six years left? What if I only have a year left? Well, that adds to some urgency, and I would have you consider what is something that you can sit down with your journal, sit down with your thoughts, and analyze, here's where I am. The good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. Good, bad, that's all up to uh, each individual perspective. But here's my starting point. Where do I want to be at the end of this year in 2018? Where do I want to be one year from now? What are the dreams that I've been suppressing? What are the things that I know are mine to do that I have been letting myself slide? I've become complacent. I've become comfortable, and I'm not pushing myself forward. I'm not improving my health, possibly, at the level that I know I'm capable of. I'm not giving the important relationships the proper time and attention that I know they deserve. I'm not giving my business 
my revenue, my my wealth building strategies, the proper time, effort, and dedication that I know. Uh, if I were to put that into uh, uh, building the plan and then uh, implementing the plan, could totally transform myself and my family's future. So these are the things that I'm contemplating as my birthday comes up right here this week. And I'm passing it along to you to hopefully inspire you to add some urgency to your life. Because one thing is certain, and one thing that was hard for me to, to understand a long time ago, we are mortal. We do have a limited amount of time here, and we all have that last breath. And at that last breath, my goal and my goal for you is to give everyone around who's there a high five like we freaking went for it. We did what was ours to do. We stepped out of our comfort zone. We pushed forward. We got clear in where we were, clear in where we wanted to go, and put the work in and did what was ours to do to get one step after the next from where we were to where we wanted to be. That's my hope for you. That's my hope for myself. That's what I'm applying and implementing right here, right now in my life, in my world, and sharing it with you to hopefully tweak that fire, uh, stoke that fire within you to really get clear on where you are, where you want to go, what's the plan to get you there quickly, efficiently, effectively, and enjoyably, right? Enjoy this brief journey. So six years ago, I, uh, I, re I recorded a video um, that had the most important conversation I, I recommend uh, you having with yourself, I had with myself. 39 years old, the last day of 39, I was driving to the office. I was president of Strategic Profits, the company that Rich Sheffern started many years ago. And on that ride there, I was like, man, 39, about to turn 40. Wonder what I was doing at 20 years old. Like, what was I doing at 19 and about to turn 20? And what was I, you know, what was what was my mindset? Where was I? Well, I was in the Marine Corps at the time. I was a hard charger Marine. I was the honor man out of boot camp at the United States Marine Corps uh, recruit station, Paris Island. Uh, and so the number one honor man, my grandparents were asked to sit next to the base general for the graduation. It was a very proud moment of mine. Uh, and I was a hard charger. I was a hard charger Marine. And I had that conversation. What wisdom would I share with myself uh, at 20 years old? And I said, at 40, I said, you know, here's what I would share. Get clear on what you want, because when you're clear on what you want, you always get it. And that's still pertinent for me today. Get clear on what I want, personally and professionally. So I would recommend to you, how clear are you on what you want? And then the other part of this, that was speaking to myself 20 years ago. Then the next part was speaking to the future version of me. So at the time, 40, my 60-year-old self, what would my 60-year-old self, making the right choices, being the best version of what I'm capable of being, what would that 60-year-old self say to me at 40? And my 60-year-old self kicked my butt. He said, stop, uh, stop being someone who doesn't uh, do what you tell others to do. Be basically, stop being comfortable. It's time for you to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You help your clients and you help others push them out of their comfort zone. It's time for you to take a look at your life and see how comfortable you are and look at the dreams that you're suppressing. It's time for you to stop suppressing those dreams and go for it. And man, oh man, I made some big changes that year, uh, which allowed me to go out and fulfill what I knew was mine to do. And I'm very thankful for that. So now I'm having similar conversations myself 20 years ago, at 26 years old, where was I, what was I doing, and fo fast forward, my 20-year-in-the-future my, uh, version of me, my 66-year-old self, what would that version of me, the best version who's made the right choices, taken the right actions, what would that person say to me? And that's exactly what I'm going through right now. I would have you consider do this, uh, consider doing the same. So, bottom line, this really—I just brought this to my office today from the house, and it really uh, reminded me that this time here is short. My father was healthy. Uh, Thanksgiving of 2009, right before that, he was not feeling well, and uh, we went in uh, to the hospital, and he never left. Uh, he was uh, cancer throughout his body and uh, I, I wrote about it in a book on Amazon I'll put the link below and I'll also put a link below to one of two podcasts that I uh, just recorded with two separate podcast uh, experts who have interviewed me and they both ask different questions and both have extreme value so I'll put the link to both of those uh, down below uh, there's only one available right now one's coming up available in the next couple of days and then I'll also post that book that uh, shared the last weekend with my father. Uh, but he, the hope in all this is to connect the dots in your brain to let you know there are only so many tomorrows. There are only so many next weeks, next months, next years. 
there is that last breath. This is to tweak up and fire that urgency, that sense of urgency within you to step it up, gain clarity on where you are, where you're wanting to go, and actually do the things that you know are yours to do. No more holding them down, no more suppressing them. It's time to go for the dreams once you gain the clarity on what they are. And it's not a whole, not 50,000 of them. It's going to be the top three. What are the big three? And then narrow it down to the one that's most important to you right now. And it's time to start putting some time, attention, and energy into that. I hope your day is going well. I hope this video makes it even better. And I look forward to chatting with you again soon. If you're not in the app, get in the app. Go to thesimplifier.com, register for the app, iOS and Android. And yes, there is content in there that goes above and beyond what we're talking about here. And most of them are much briefer than this. I just had some stuff on my mind that I thought was helpful to me, thought would be helpful to you. And I look forward to hearing your feedback. I will see you inside the app. Till then, make today great.